Welcome to Elle's Nails, where it doesn't take a million bucks for your nails to look like a million bucks. As you can see, it's a super exciting day because I have a new handy dandy silicone mat this week. It is a black mat um, and it's actually a cookie sheet mat uh, you get at any store that sells like kitchen gadgets uh, and it's black. Um, so I'm excited about that because I don't think it's going to show my ugly nail polish smears as much as the blue one did. But the blue one's still around so you might see that from time to time if I uh, am doing something where black will not be helpful. Okay, so this week's theme is fall. And um, for that I decided to just go with fall colors um, and some swirly whirly pattern. Um, so I am using a chocolate brown color to my nails and then a white swirly whirly stamp um, the which is good because um, it's actually Easter this week although by the time you see it uh, Easter will have passed and my Easter dress is chocolate brown so um, everything worked out great um, so for this I am using a Broadway um, it's got a bit of sparkle to it but it's a uh, brown it's a very dark brown and it's actually called chocolate so I got the right shade and then I am using just uh, a stamp template here with this swirly whirly it's actually got an Easter Lily on this template too and it looks like this is a bundle monster template and then I have my stamper, my uh, clear stamper. I love that thing. And um, I'm using Bundle Monster White for my polish. And I am finishing it off with um, Wet n Wild Matte Top Coat. I will put on a um, quick dry top coat. This is the Out the Door. Um, it works pretty well. It doesn't smear too terribly bad. It does smear a little bit, but um, not too bad. You see that? It's not too bad. Only I will know. Um, so, also recommend that you have some acetone free nail polish remover handy in case you mess up. And uh, that, I think, is it. Uh, cleanup brush, of course, and that is it. I am going to use a napkin um, because this will smear a bit. And we'll get started. And as you can see, I have my um, polish already. Wow, that's really dark. Um, and it's all dry and it has a top coat on it um, so in case I mess up it can come off quickly oh I forgot my scraper um, I'm using a old Kings Island gold pass from last year that I don't need anymore alright so my nail is completely dry and ready to go and uh, I'm gonna take my bundle monster polish and put a thin coat across this swirly whirly pattern you can put just at the top but if you spread it around a little bit it does work a little better and then a quick slide and then take my stamper and pick it up and it's got a nice clear pickup we're not going to talk too much or else it's going to get messed up so I'm just going to place that where I want it on my nail and there we go we got a nice pattern oh um, I'm not cleaning off my stuff with nail polish remover I am using a lint roller to clean off my stamper this will keep my stamper stampy <laughs> for longer um, and also less messy too so that's nice um, so now I am going to use that quick dry top coat 
And when you top coat it, you want to glide over the nail and not press down. Make as few strokes as possible. And there we go. Now you could put on a uh, silicone or uh, not silicone, a latex um, guard before you do this and peel it off. But I find that with um, with stamping, it's just easier to just clean it off with a cleanup brush. So just a quick clean up here. And then we're gonna take that matte top coat and top it off. And that is it. Now we have a nice fall looking nail. And so that's it for this time. Um, next week's theme is black and red or red and black. I'm not sure which order that's in, but I'm sure it'll look the same either way. Um, so we'll see you then with some red and black nails.